Hi guys, just got back from the Isle of Wight festival, uh, which was in the Isle of Wight. And I went there for one day, the Saturday. It is now Sunday. Um, on the Friday, I went to Arctic Monkeys, which I've done another review of on my YouTube. And I had a terrible time there because I nearly expired in a human crush, as discussed. So I was heading to Isle of Wight yesterday, Saturday, um, full of residual angst from Arctic Monkeys. Anyway, turns out it's one of the best days of my fucking life, okay? I had a VIP band because I'm a fucking king. So I had lovely amenities such as bar with no queue, toilets that are cl getting clean between each use. Fantastic. Also backstage areas to go to, lookout areas to go to in the middle of the, the main stage. Um, kind of viewing, what am I, I can't think of the word, like crowd. Um, incredible food options just in general. Um, and really nice, like, Ferris wheel uh, to go and view the, the main stage on. And basically, right, the lineup was not often popping, really. There was, like, Chemical Brothers, who I do like, George Ezra, Anne-Marie, like, Gabrielle fucking scouting for girls, you know? So it's, like, it's a very varied um, lineup, and I can't say that they were all necessarily my taste. But what I will say is, is that Isle of Wight is a much bigger and better festival than I had any right to expect it to be. I didn't realise, maybe because I'm fucking dumb, that the Isle of Wight festival is actually quite a prestigious and long-running festival. I just thought in my head, oh, Isle of Wight, small island, gonna go, Not the lineup hasn't got like massive headliners on, no disrespect to the uh, festival. And I really don't want to disrespect the festival. Now I've had one of the best days of my entire fucking life. But, you know, they haven't got massive headlines. It's not like, it's not like, you know, Gas Glastonbury's got like fucking Elton John, aren't they? And Arctic Monkeys and all that lot. And, and this is like the headliner is Chemical Brothers who, you know, haven't had a hit in a while. So I just thought I was off to a smallish festival. I'm from a small town that used to have a small festival. And so I thought, oh, it'll be a bit like that. It's actually quite big. I haven't been to that many festivals, but it's actually big. And there's a lot of people camping. I wasn't camping because um, I'm a bit bougie. So I've got a hotel nearby. Um, and it's, there's, there's a lot to do. I'm not saying the tent selection is like completely on point, but there's a fucking selection. I'll give you that. I'll tell you that for free. I'll tell you that for now. I won't charge you a penny. Anyway... Have I mentioned the fact that the VIP band, because I'm a fucking king, gave me access to all the amenities? I think I have. Viewing platform, things like that, yeah. So I managed to see Chemical Brothers in the best seat in the house. And I've said that many times in my life. Oh, best seat in the house. Restaurants, cinemas, things like that. It's usually a fucking lie, you know? It's usually the type of shit that you say to someone to fill the air, steal some oxygen, and waste some time in your life. Well, this time it was actually true. I was in the best seat in the house. I was literally sat... On a viewing platform, in the middle of the main stage crowd, looking directly at the main stage at a higher level than anyone else. It was fucking ridiculous. And I had a great time. My highlight was probably the Ferris wheel. The view of the main stage was fantastic. Um, and it's just magical, isn't it? I was on there with my girlfriend. Very romantic. Um, what else to discuss? Uh... Yes, the, to the toilets were very clean. I got very drunk. So I had, I calculated it on the train. Um, I had five ciders, 10 white claws, and one vodka slushy. At least. I think there might be some that I'm forgetting, but I definitely counted those ones. And I was fucked. I had like three drunk peaks. I had like a 5 p.m. and then like a. 8 p.m. and then like a 10 p.m. and each time kind of coming down from that so i had a fucking sugar crash and a half today let me tell you i was trying to walk up a hill at, in ride which is the pier you get the ferry from back to the mainland fuck me i nearly passed out headaches started coming on oh, dum, 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 dum. um isle of wight's a lovely place i've never been before the uh the ferry is fun but Two times I went on the ferry and two times I got scooted past by a fucking hovercraft that you can pay for to go on and it looks fucking litty. 
So I did have a good time on the ferry, but I knew I could have had a better time on the hovercraft. A fucking hovercraft! All right, James Bond villain. So it was in stark contrast to my Friday Night Arctic Monkeys, which you can go watch the review for. Um, I won't put the link in the description. Just go fucking find it if you want it, right? Not everything can be put in your lap. I can't spoon feed you entertainment. In stark contrast to Friday night, I had a wonderful time at the Isle of Wight Festival. It was a 10 out of fucking 10. I ended up, you know that time where you're just kind of like enjoying things that you wouldn't normally, <laughs> things that you wouldn't normally enjoy because you're a moody cunt. That's what I felt like. I was like enjoying like shit tents and shit food and artists that I don't even like, who I won't mention because I don't want to slag them off. Gabrielle has a wonderful voice. Who knew? She hadn't had a hit for about 20 years and her voice sounds better than ever. I was stupid for a while. That's not the lyrics, but it's that song. So confused have I ever had by you out of reach. What a tune. You can sing that as long as you like, sister. Sing it in 20 years' time. I'll still go and see you. So, I had a lovely time. I feel like I'm forgetting to say something. Um... No. Anyway, I stayed in a hotel, and it was the worst fucking hotel in the world. Um, it had, like, a big crack in the floor. It looked like it was going to cave in. It had a headrest that wasn't attached to the bed, and so I tried to push the bed, and it scraped all along the wall, pulled the wallpaper off. Don't tell anyone, because I'll have to pay for it. Covered it up. Uh, it was absolutely boiling with underfloor heat and that you couldn't turn off. Like it was like Saw 8, the film. And that was the first form of torture. Just underfloor heating. Just baking. Hung over. <sighs> and then went and had a um, fry up downstairs. And there was like a couple of ants on the table. Just like eating some butter. Uh, so, Yeah. And you know that situation where you order a, like a meal and there's only kind of one person taking your order and there's no, there seems to be no one else working there. It was like very quiet. And then we don't see this guy for ages and the food doesn't come. And I'm like, I think he's doing this all himself. I think he's fucking cooking this himself. And then I wait a bit longer and it's still not coming. I'm like, I think he's literally rearing the hen and then laying the egg, and then cooking the egg for my fucking breakfast. Do you know what I mean? Get some more staff, you small pub on the Isle of Wight who doesn't get any revenue because no one ever stays there, even on Isle of Wight weekend. Hashtag first world problems. Anyway, 10 out of 10 experience. Highly recommend the Isle of Wight Festival, even if you're not into the lineup. Bye.